All right, so one extra thing. Whenever we're multiplying polynomials, every term in the first must be multiplied by every term in the second. So every single term in this first polynomial, the 3x and the y, are going to be multiplied by each of these terms. In the past, you've seen that with these connecting bars. And we might use those in class, but I'm going to show you a different method that might help us uh, clean up how we multiply these. We're going to break this up into just two distribution problems. Uh, and that'll make sure that each of these terms multiplies each of these terms. So 3x times 2x squared is 6x cubed minus 12x squared y. And it came the x and the x made x squared, and then we multiply by y. And 3x times y cubed is 3xy cubed. Remember, whenever you're multiplying like variables, like the x and the x, you just add their exponents. Otherwise, you just tag it on. 3x times y cubed is 3xy cubed. All right, now let's do that all with this y. Positive y times 2x squared is 2x squared y. And I like to go in alphabetical order. Uh, y times negative 4xy is negative 4xy squared. And then y times y cubed is y to the fourth. All right, now we just got to combine like terms. So look, 6x cubed, that's the only thing with just an x cubed. So we have 6x cubed, 12x, negative 12x squared y, and then here I have an x squared y. So negative 12 plus 2 would be minus 10x squared y. Um, 3xy cubed, there's nothing else that has an xy cubed. So plus 3xy cubed, and then minus 4xy squared. There's nothing else with an xy squared. And finally, y to the fourth is also sitting by itself. And there we have it.